Good afternoon, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video is Understanding the Numbers and How to Profit from It. Everything I've ever done on this channel, I try to make it very simple. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about understanding, quote, numbers, how to take those numbers and make your sports betting career profitable. Before we do that, as always, greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Big shout out to everybody that watched that last video. Really good video. I think this one's going to be just as good. If you like the video, give it a like. That helps the channel grow, as you know, because I'm sure everybody here subscribes to different channels on YouTube. So I'm greatly appreciative of my subscribers as well. If you want to follow me on social media, MG Covers, cover spell with the Z. Give out a ton of content there things I see in the sports betting marketplace. So you can subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on Instagram for free, get a ton of content um, out of doing that. All right, so understanding the numbers. For me, a little bit of uh, background. I think I've talked about this before, is that numbers for me, everything looks the same for me in math, meaning Two plus two equals four. We've heard that expression. That's how I look at geometry. That's how I look at trigonometry calculus. That's how I look at it, sports betting. It all looks the same to me. And one thing I've always tried to do, and my mind thinks this way, I've tried to think, make things very complex, take things that are very complex as it relates to sports betting and numbers, and make it very simple where people can understand it, myself included. So that's what I'm going to do in this example. So I'm going to give you, I think it's like four different examples. Number one, we're going to talk about is you've heard the term, quote, expected value, right? That's the sports betting term. I call that a 50-50 game, which means the team that we're wagering on has at least a 50% chance of winning. The line is plus 130 or greater. That means we can flip a coin, expect that team to win hypothetically five times and lose five times, but considering the line's plus 130, we will win, quote, long term. That's one example. Another example is the NHL model from this past year as it relates to totals. I looked at NHL totals. We realized totals scoring was way up in NHL. So I brought back my old model, hadn't looked at totals in a couple of years. Totals were hitting, some overs were cashing somewhere between 53 and 55%. So I designed the model, and the way I taught the model was to just play overs. Why? Because overs were cashing 53 to 55%. So we knew the model was good. Overs were already cashing overall 53 to 55%. So we had a hit, that's called understanding the numbers so we took these numbers that overs were cashing built them took the model that i had and we just focused on playing and what i advised clients to do was just play overs so that model ended up cashing close to 60 percent from all-star break all the way until the uh, end of the season so that's one ex two examples now of understanding the numbers let's look at a third example this just went down i think this was saturday all right, so I started wagering again on soccer. Now, some context as it relates to soccer. Soccer has three lines. You have the home side, you have the away side, and you have the draw line, right? So you have three possible outcomes. So each side, statistically speaking, has a 33% chance of cashing. This is what makes soccer so difficult. So my focus now is I'm just going to play draws. I made a video a while back. If you want to uh, research that as well, I think it's like three videos back. So we know draws in any type of wagering in soccer, you have a 33% chance of cashing. So this was my first play for Saturday. We played Helensburg for Sweden. It was a draw plus 250. We wagered one third unit. And basically what that means, a full unit for me would be right at a thousand bucks. So this is roughly around $300 wager. Now, what happens, this is the very first wager of the day on Saturday. Boom. This actually cashes the first play of the day. Now, this is where understanding the numbers is very important. Now, this seems elementary, but follow, follow through, follow me through, follow me through with this. Sometimes I can't talk. 
one for one, so we hit 100%, right, which is rare. I know this is elementary, one wager, one win, so we're hitting 100%. Are we more likely to hit between 33% the mean and 100%, or are we more likely to hit between 0% and 33%? We're more likely to hit between 0 and 33% on the next wagers. Why? Because we just hit... 100%, right? So in order for it to average 33%, we're more likely to go between 0 and 33% on our next wagers. So what I did was on the next wagers, I knew I had anywhere from like two to three more plays, maybe even more than that. We'll see in a second on this next screenshot. I decided to wager one-tenth unit. And so let's look at what happened here. So check this out. We'll, we'll look at this. Now, uh, baseball is in here, too. We've already been wagering one-tenth unit on baseball, so we split. So you can see the two uh, baseball plays there. But check out this next draw play wagered uh, from Brazil Series. It was a loss. Um, let's look at this next play. This was from the MLS wager Toronto-Seattle draw. It lost. <laughs> Vancouver it was a loss. However, if you add all that up, we still profited overall, even including, well, baseball was a wash, $450 profit. Now, what would most people do in this situation? Most people would wager the same amount for all of those soccer plays. Now, I wouldn't normally, like, like if let's say I, if I would have lost this first wager, I would have probably wagered the same amount for the next ones. But considering we won that first one, I was able to take the numbers and apply that to the rest of the day. And this ensured that I had a profitable day. Again, going back to understanding the numbers, how numbers work, and using those numbers to your advantage to be profitable. So that's a really, really, really good example. And I've also made another video about that too. Um, I think it's called, uh, insure, I might uh, link these at the end of the video, ensuring you have a profitable day. I do this a lot in college football if the first play of the day hits and it's a big dog. So to ensure that we have a winning day, I'll wager real small amounts for those uh, rest of those wagers. So really good example. And then finally, let's look at an example. If you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about this. Teams trying to avoid a sweep in Major League Baseball win more often than not. So what I mean by that, let's say a team has won the first two games and they're trying to win a third game. It's very difficult to sweep in Major League Baseball. It's difficult for any series. You can go back and do some research on your own, which means you look in an NHL playoff series, very difficult for a team to sweep. Very difficult for a team to sweep in uh, NBA in like a seven-game series or even a five-game series. And this is applicable to Major League Baseball as well. So yesterday, there were nine teams that were avoiding sweeps, okay? Potentially avoiding sweeps. So let's look at these and we'll go through each one. And what that means is it's more likely for the team that's avoiding the sweep to win than the team trying to sweep to win, right? So the first one was Washington, they lost. Second one was Toronto, they lost. The next one, Cleveland, they were avoiding a sweep, they won. Cincinnati was avoiding a sweep, they won. LA Angels was avoiding a sweep, they lost. Baltimore was avoiding a sweep, they won. Boston was avoiding a sweep, they won. San Francisco was avoiding a sweep, they lost. San Diego was avoiding a sweep, and they won. So if you add all that up, there were nine plays total of teams that were avoiding a sweep, five of those teams won. So you take five divided by nine is 56%. So everything in sports betting, right, when there's two sides, that means the average is 50%. So teams trying to avoid a sweep generally win about 56% of the time. So the way that you take application of this, again, we don't blindly play one situational angle, right? I've talked about that in the last video with trends. It's a situational angle that you can use to your advantage. So how you would use that advantage is if you go down here and look and see, like the model yesterday had Yankees favored, the model had Atlanta favored. So the way I would normally play that would be 
play New York and Atlanta on the run line, but considering they were going for the sweep, it was best to simply pass on those plays, okay? That's understanding the numbers and using those numbers to your advantage. And likewise, let's say if your model had Boston as a potential play, well, now you have this statistical property to your advantage. They're trying to avoid a sweep, and they did. You're having that work in your favor so that's another situational angle that you can add. So if you have maybe two or three situational angles, you can add this one to it to make it even better of a play. So in sports betting, it's very important you have to understand the numbers and not only understand those numbers, but apply those to your uh, sports handicapping, sports betting. I give a ton of coaching videos related to this topic um, so you can understand this business a lot better. If you want to become a client, $49.95 per month, uh, you get coaching videos like this explaining this concept, a lot, lot more detail. Um, you also get access to all my power rankings as well. Uh, if you want to be a client that has everything I just mentioned, in addition, you get all my plays. You can do that for $99 per month. Um, there's a link to join in the description box. And then if you want to join for an, an entire year, you save about $600. That's the best value. Um, it's $4.99. You get access to everything on the site for an entire year. Hope this video helps and good luck. Use those numbers to your advantage and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.